So I'm like, okay, I'll go for it. You know, I'm in India, never kept a mustache before. You know, like every time as a skater, you're always changing. And, and then like to actually see these guys see something where I was just like, yeah, that's just, uh, you know, a thing to stop your bike from going there. And then that becomes a spot that they session for three hours. And I, I was like, oh, damn, I had no clue. And Kiyako is such a tech skater, dude. Like, he's technically like a hacker. I think he's like a skateboarding hacker where he has all these things in like a code and he just has to enter that code and that trick is there on demand. Word spread that we were here, and uh, they wanted a little demo at one of the schools, and we thought that'd be pretty cool, because I mean, what better way to spread skateboarding in India than to show kids what it's all about? So we rolled up and uh, set up some ramps that they had, and we uh, skateboarded on the little basketball court in the back of the school, and it was pretty fun. We did some interviews and ended up in Indian TV. <laughs> I came in this in the news. Forced international skaters from across the globe, the skaters demonstrated their best skating techniques to the youth. I think it was a small uh, news station, which was pretty funny. The questions were pretty, pretty spot on with what you don't want to be asked in an interview as a skateboarder. If uh, I think skateboarding allows you a certain type of freedom, if, if that's what you're drawn to, then, then you should definitely be a skateboarder. How many kids do you need? I'm shooting for 15? seven or eight. Seven or eight kids? Oh, you got it. I just cleared what, eight kids without popping. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I hope we inspire some kids here to start skating. The only thing that people believe that there's a future in, in possibility of making money and trying to sustain is just cricket. And cricket's pretty much killed all other sports. It's super hard to break a, a system that's already in place. Just seeing the progression of skateboarding in the past five years, like we had one park for four years. That was the only place you we were allowed to skateboard. And now we have four parks in, in the past year, you know? So our last day in Bangalore, we're headed to the outskirts where some of Porna's friends have a little uh, like skate sanctuary. There's a little hut. To your right is this rad little DIY skate park. Pretty much it's the skateboarder's answer here for being able to skate. But street skating here is just so hectic and such a difficult thing to do that I think that's the reason for these rad DIY spots popping up. So DIY and transition is a good way to start skateboarding and I think a lot of people are still starting to skate here. The kids all like grow up skating transition things. So if you're into street skating, it's, it's harder because there's no street skate park out here. Out of 1.2 billion people in India, probably 100 to 150 skateboarders, which is nothing, you know, it's like peanuts when you see the population and see the urban area. There's so much urban area, so much concrete that is perfect for skateboarding. And hopefully the scene just grows outward from here. On this trip, our mission was to explore the three biggest cities in south of India. Goa, Bangalore, and Chennai. We are in Chennai. Just came down some random roads to try and look for a few spots. And you find one thing where there's no one around, and by the time you try it three times, there's a full-on audience. This area is by far the most hectic we've been in, I think. Bangalore, it was hectic, but in a different way. People were kicking you out, trying to get rid of you from skating spot. Here, people are so obsessed with the skateboard and 
But you can't even try the trick because someone is already grabbing your board and they're trying to learn how to push and they're already halfway down the street. Skateboarding for? Four years? Yeah. How old are you? Seven. So you've been skating since you were three years old. Yeah, what's your favorite trick? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Coolest name for sure. We came across a guy that was, I don't know, maybe in his 50s and wanted to step on a skateboard and like genuinely wanted to learn it. Came from the office just for a walk, actually. I am working for a bank. Work for an HDFC bank, actually. Everything is balanced is more important, you know. Ah, it's uh, it's now it's picking up. Uh, it's not that much popular. But here people don't support all kind of things. People here only one thing is game is only the cricket. People are there are certain areas, you know, they are giving some more support for skating and everything. So the way people in India perceive skateboarding has been awesome. Like you end up skating down an alleyway and they love it. Like even if you're just walking with your board they'll come up to you and like signal to you that they want to just see you ride it. That's all they want to see is you just push or do something. And one person, he like asked me, he was like, oh, ride, ride. So I got on the board and I just did a kickflip. And his response was, he just like came up to me, shook my hand and said that was beautiful. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever for someone to just see skateboarding maybe for the first time and recognize like, and just, you know, have that thought like, oh, that was a beautiful thing right there. 